I'm at Marul Caravan Park on the banks of the Murray today and I've got David Mann with me again. How are you? I'm well, Khan. I'm really enjoying this travelling around. What are we having? Okay, so whenever I'm out and about on the road, I love charring corn. That's my favourite. It's so quick. You can sit around in a circle. You and your friends can just char your own corns, put some toppings on it. It's absolutely delicious. So simple and good for you. Yes, very, very good for you. So today I'm going to show you how to do char corn my way. This is my charred corn with spring onion oil. I'm learning a lot. I really am. Now, I'm going to start with the spring onions. Could you grab me some of them, please? Okay. Thank you. So with this, all I'm doing is chopping the greens off. We're going to use the top. Once again, you're very good at hanging. <laughs> do that. It's like a machine, but I'm glad you're not asking me to do it. It wouldn't be good. Because for anybody who is seeing us for the first time, I really can't cook, so I'm here to learn. You're not that bad. You're not that bad at all. No, I'm learning. <laughs> all right. so precise. So that's probably as much as we need. Could you pass me some of that grape seed oil? Yes. There we go. So today I'm going to cook the spring onions off in the grape seed oil really gently. So at home, you would do that over a medium heat. But here, I'm doing it over my coals. So I'm just going to make sure that only half the pot is on the coals at any one time. And I love this little barbecue. I call it the Doll's House barbecue, but perfect to take on the road. When yeah, we're definitely. Around. All right, so that's on there. That's going to heat up. The spring onions can go straight in. Yep. Let that cook away gently. This is a really, really traditional thing to do in Vietnam. We use spring onion oil in pretty much everything that goes over the barbecue. If you could add some salt into that, that would be amazing. Big pinch or little pinch? A uh, big pinch, a, ni big pinch. a nice pinch. How hot is that barbecue? What temperature would it be at? Probably right now around 220 to 250. Okay. We want the oil to be sitting at around 160 to 170. We don't want it to hit 180 because it'll start to really cook too fast and it'll burn the spring onion. So I'm just going to leave that there, let it do its thing. Let's get started on prepping our corn. Okay. So I've got one. Do you want to grab one? Yes. So you want to peel it down, but leave it hanging at the end, just like this. Because we're going to use that as kind of our handle to hold the corn. Okay, <laughs> so I'm per but not to... You don't want to peel it completely off. Okay. Am I doing this too much? You're, you're doing very well. You're going to need to get... Oh, I've got to go all the way down. Yeah, you've got to go all oh. the way down and get rid of that kind of stringy husk bits on the inside. Okay. That can go. Ah, look at that, found it. Awesome. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use one of the husk pieces to tie around, and that kind of serves as a little handle for us to hold the corn, so we don't need tongs. Very clever. Very clever. And now, then, I'm just sort of, I've got all these bits. You just take them off like yeah, that? Yeah, you just get rid of them. Oh, I feel I've accomplished something here. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where corn comes from, inside. All right, so I'm just going to tie that to a little handle. And this is very Vietnamese, isn't very it? Very Vietnamese. You'll find this uh, mostly on the side of the street of Vietnam, so it is street food. And cooked well, always safe to eat it. Because people always. go, oh, street vendors, not sure in parts of the world, but... Yeah, well, it's straight on the coals. It's corn, we're charring it, so it's not sitting there all day, kind of gently simmering away. It's not a broth, so yeah. no need to be worried. Now, is that enough? That's definitely enough. Do you want to give it a tie as well? Okay, got that. Now, where'd you get that little bit from? <laughs> so, what you do is, once it's like that, you grab what, two pieces and uh, you just wrap it around. Just wrap it around, okay. Yep. Done, thank you. Awesome. Do you want to have a look in here? It's starting to bubble. There's a little bit of bubbling happening at the top and oh, that's yeah. the spring onions cooking. So it's a really gentle cook. It's not going to fully boil, but that's exactly what we want. Good. Our corn's done. That's going to go straight on the barbecue, on our coals. Okay, just there. Oh, I can feel the heat. So you can just leave it, let it do its thing. Start like turning it every two, three minutes to make sure that it's all charred really evenly. One of my favorite things to do, because if you've got a group of mates around, you've got all the corn kind of just prepped, ready to go. Sit around, have a drink, put the corn on the coals, just wait. And they would enjoy being part of the making it too. Yep, like I was definitely. Doing, so hang on, you're here for dinner, but guess what? Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that already. Yeah, it'll start to change color. So you can see that it's getting a lot more yellow, less pale, and that's the corn and the sugars caramelizing and cooking. I've got a very good sense of smell. It's one thing I do have, and you can smell it too. Mm.
You can see that that's beautiful and caramelised now. Do you want to give that a turn? Yeah. That's... See, there's, there's dark bits, there's brown bits. You're going to think that it's <laughs> fully burnt, aren't you? <laughs> well, if I'd been in Vietnam, walking along the street and seeing this, I would probably go, oh, look, he's burnt it. He hasn't no. paid attention, but it's... No, no, we've been paying not. attention this whole time. What you do want is that beautiful colour, that dark skin on it, because that means that the sugar's caramelised, so the corn is full of sugar, and that just means that it's cooked and it's going to taste delicious when you bite into it. And have you patented this little bit at the end? <laughs> And like you know the the tie and is that a, is that a, a should can, I a should I not <laughs> I'll look into that yeah. all right I'll grab that off now straight onto a little serving platter or a board whatever you, whatever you've got really and you're right Khan it is so simple it's just enjoy cooking it and yep. then enjoy eating it this our spring onion oil it's definitely done you can see that it's changed color a little bit to what it's temperature bubbling again? away around 160 170 mm -hmm. so it doesn't come to a full boil we're going to just spoon this over the top get some of that beautiful spring onions on there i did notice a little trick of the trade too when you needed these to uh, you know have a little bit more power from the barbecue you yep. just tip some of this in up came the flames well with the coals all it needs is a little bit of fat to flare up i'll actually show you that so by adding some fat on there, it'll flare up. Just like that? Yeah. This is absolutely delicious. I cannot wait for you to taste it. How much would they charge for these? A typical street vendor in Vietnam? 25 cents. 25 cents. 25 cents. Good for you. Delicious, easy, you can just grab it and go. No calories. <laughs> there's, a, there's a little bit, there's a little bit in there. There's some carbs, there's some sugars. And now I'm gonna top it up with a little bit of nutritional yeast. Have you tried this? Give me, oh, let me try a little bit. So, I don't know, but... Um, nutritional yeast. So yeast, nutritional yeast. So it's dried yeast. It tastes, tell me what it tastes like. It's actually tasty, it's sort of like a cheese. Yep, yep, definitely. So I use a lot of nutritional yeast when cooking things for all my friends that are vegan. Mm. Because it is kind of that cheesy flavour without it being made from milk or animal products. It's, it's plant-based and it's absolutely delicious. That's gonna go a little sprinkling right over the corn. That is very nice. My sister actually puts this on her pasta as well. And now, with so many people, there's the vegans and the vegetarians, and yeah, you've got to cater for all, all different tastes and yep. all different um, likes in life when it comes to food. Tiny bit more, just because I'm a little bit greedy and I do love this spring onion. I keep hearing about all the things you love, <laughs> and you know that I, I don't like coriander, brain stripe, haggis, and parmesan cheese. Is there anything you don't like? Is there anything that Khan goes, no, cannot eat this? I can't think of anything. No. I really can't think of anything. I'll give everything a try wow. at least once. And usually I like it. Anyway, that there is my charred corn with spring onion oil and some nutritional yeast on the side. Give that a go. You can pop that straight into your oven if you don't have charcoal. It's absolutely delicious. And it looks great too.